Hey yo, 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 up! It is my favorite time of the month again, and that is hair dyeing time. I know I've been in the same color scheme, color palette for a while now. My hair is either purple or pink or like reddish. I know, and I know that in my last video I said that the next time I was gonna dye my hair either green or blue. I know that I said that, but I lied. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna do like pinky-ish color one more time and after that I'm gonna try and go crazy. Cause I just feel comfortable with pink hair for some reason. Pink used to always be my least favorite color in the world and now I'm like, I don't know. It's kind of fire. So today I'm gonna refresh my hair. I am also gonna try to make it a little bit more interesting. I'm not just gonna do um, one color all over my head. Cause I wanna be special. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do yet though. But I will firstly bleach these roots. Cause they are rooting right now. And then I'm gonna do hair dye. Also, look how thin my hair has gotten over the last year. <laughs> I swear, it used to be like double as thick as this. This is just like, look how tiny, look how tiny this little braid is. <laughs> and no, it's not because I bleached my hair, okay? It's other factors and I, I don't like it. It's so skinny. Look how like tiny this braid is. Okay. Let's go! Okay, welcome to my beautiful hair salon. Um, apparently, I thought I like bleached my hair a month ago, but apparently it's already been two months. So this growth is of two whole months. I feel like that's not a lot for two months, is it? I feel like my hair should grow quicker than that. Hmm. Hmm, anyways, um, yeah, I'm just gonna bleach my roots like I always do. I'm gonna take these little <laughs> tiny little braids out. I actually really love like this like washed out pink color. I think it's very cute, not gonna lie. But yeah, at some point it's just, uh, you can tell like, it's just very uneven and the ends are just very, very dry and gross looking, which yeah, I know that means that I should probably <laughs> like cut it. But in my experience, like dyeing my hair really helps with the look of it too. Like it looks dry and dead right now, but the moment I put hair dye in it, it just makes it look so much better and it makes it feel better. So that is my quick fix of my broken hair. Pedro, 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 oh. Gorgeous, Gorgina, amazing, beautiful. My nose is itchy, <laughs> sorry. So, for the bleach, again, we're gonna go Schwarzkopf, Blonde Me, Premium Developer, 20 volume. I feel like, I talked about this in my last video too, I feel like I could go 10 volume next time, but this is the one I have right now. So for now, I'm just gonna go 20 volume, and I'm gonna do two scoops of developer, one scoop of bleaching powder. Bing, 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 bing. Stir it. <laughs> okay, we know the drill. I'm just gonna get this bleach and smack that baby on my scalp. And then hopefully it won't burn and hopefully my hair won't fall off. Yeah, I will just do a little time lapse of this and then after that we can dye my hair. Yubee! It is actually, for the first time in fucking years, it is actually burning a little bit. Like it actually burns my scalp. I haven't had that feeling in ages. And I definitely don't like that feeling. Ouchie, ouchie. But also it's not that bad, I'll survive. But it is kind of annoying and burning and itchy right now. 
oh, the things I do for beauty. Crazy. Okay, my entire head is covered. Uh, it's still very itchy, unfortunately. I don't like that feeling, but we're just gonna have to accept it. <laughs> Nothing else we can do at this point. I'm gonna get a plastic cap. Wait, 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 wait. Shower cap, beautiful. Oh, it actually is very itchy. <laughs> Why? Why is it so itchy all of a sudden? Oh, that's crazy. Ooh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Huh. Anyways, put this on my head. This is gonna make sure that like the heat of my head is like preserved in this little bowl. So that way it like processes faster. So <laughs> I'm just gonna let this sit in my hair for approximately 40 minutes and then I'm gonna rinse it out and then I'll be back. And hopefully my scalp will be a little bit better by then. <laughs> Why is it so itchy? It normally isn't this itchy. <gasps> okay. E. Okay. I'll be right back. <laughs> oh my god. It's been on my head for literally only, I would say, five minutes. And it's itching so bad. It's crazy. It's actually insane. It is itching so bad. Like to the point where I'm like, should I just wash it off? Oh my god, oh my god, it's so bad. I so bad. I don't, I don't know. It's literally so bad. And I know what the problem is. Look, I have like a, I have like a, a skin thing going on right now. Which I didn't know I had it on my scalp too. I thought it was just like my hands and my arms. But apparently it's on my scalp too. I didn't know that. If I knew my scalp was having issues too, I would have not put the bleach on top of it. I think my skin might just be too sensitive right now. Oh my god, it's so bad. I don't know if I should wash it off or not. I'm just gonna torture myself for another 10 minutes and if it's not getting better, I'm just gonna wash it off because this is the itchiest I've been in my life. It's actually crazy. It's so bad. It's the worst feeling I, you can imagine. <laughs> okay, cutie patooties. Um, I made it back alive. <laughs> I ended up leaving the bleach on my head for 40 minutes because it was still yeah I was still very super duper itchy but like like 90% of the itchiness kind of went away after like 10 minutes so it was manageable but it was kind of crazy it was actually <laughs> that was actually the itchiest I've ever been in my entire life and it was very hard to go through but again I made it out alive my head feels fine now, it's not itchy anymore. It was just a reaction to the bleach. So yeah, it's it's time to actually dye it. Yes, I am aware that my hair looks like a dead mouse, but it's just very frizzy. I just have very frizzy hair. Also the hair color makes it look way worse. It definitely feels a lot better than it looks. It feels pretty soft and it feels pretty sturdy. It just looks like a hot mess right now. So what I thought we could do with my hair, because <laughs> again, I wanted to be a little bit more interesting because I basically had every color under the sun already and I just want to try something new. So I'm going to stay in this color theme. I'm going to keep it pink, but I'm also going to make it red. Ooh. I thought it would be really cool to do like an ombre from like very light baby pink to like dark red at the ends. Um, I'm pretty sure I have red hair dye. I'm actually, <laughs> I gotta have to check now. I thought I had red hair dye. I got pink and red hair dye. Yeah, let's just get, get to mixing. Also, yeah, I have my drill here for some reason. Anyone wants to have a lobotomy? Per chance? Yeah, like I said, I got these little testers. These are from um, Kaleidos Makeup. They gifted me these, not sponsored. Yeah, I'm gonna try these for the first time. I really like the packaging of this, by the way. 
it's so useful like it's easy to store it's easy to get the hair dye out and it's less waste than a big plastic jar i think i don't know actually is this less probably Ooh, the hair looks way brighter than i thought it was gonna be but also it looks kind of like translucent so i feel like it's not gonna be that pigmented yeah honestly i feel like it's gonna be more of like a baby pink Beautiful. Then let me just mix some conditioner in there as well, just to stretch the product a little bit more. Okay. This is what it looks like. I'm just gonna put it in my hair and then see what's gonna happen. <laughs> Scary. Oh my god, that's almost like a. That's almost a perfect match with my current hair color. Can you see that? Damn, that's crazy. Do I like that? Yeah, I think I like that. Whoa, look at that. That is like the exact same color. Holy guacamole. Also, it's not irritating my scalp at all, which is definitely very nice. <laughs> but also, I didn't expect it to, because literally hair dye is just like... Like, semi-permanent hair dyes are just a hair mask with like a color pigment in it. Like, it's literally not damaging to anything at all. Also, the hair dye smells really nice. Is it the hair dye? Maybe it's actually the conditioner I put in there. But anyways, it smells nice. I love it. I didn't even, <laughs> I didn't even check the back of my bleach, bleach job. Ah, oh, looks pretty decent. Not too shabby, if you ask me. Okay, let me now just do the whole shebang. I'm just gonna scrunch it in. Get, get my hands in there, you know? Always my favorite part of the hair dye. My roots are covered, as you can clearly tell, by how pink my hair is. <gasps> Adorable. Also, my ends look crazy. My ends look crazy. I still have some hair dye left. Which I don't, I don't know what to do with that stuff now because I was raving about this packaging but now I cannot put it back into the packaging so I should have to find a different container to put that stuff in <laughs> Okay, so the color that I have here is Nirvana Same brand, Kaleidos I don't even know what this looks like, I haven't even opened it Ooh, this is bright bright red Sheesh! Okay, this is the color I have. Very, very red, as you can see. I really hope it's gonna look cute. I hope it's gonna look cute. It's gonna be look cute, right? I feel like it should be. I feel like it's a good color combo, pink and red. I remember growing up, it was like the forbidden combo for some reason. Everybody always said that you can never mix pink and red because those colors don't match. I, but I don't why they said that because it literally pink and red go so well together <laughs> like they literally complement each other so much i don't know why that was such a thing growing up anyways luckily we don't have that mindset anymore we don't have that toxic mindset <laughs> we love pink and red together and let's hope it's also gonna look good on my head okay what i also want to do is i don't want the front to be pink uh red i don't want the front to be red so let me just make a little section over here okay the moment of truth <laughs> let's get it i'm kind of scared but also excited yeah Oh, yeah, 
oi. Okay, there's too much hair dye on my fingers now. Maybe I should just do this with like brush only because now I, I I have to get a new section, but I can't touch it with my dirty hair dye stained hands. So let me ju let me just wash them. I'll be right back. Okay, time for a new section. Pablo, what do ya? What do you peep? Pablo's being crazy. Crazy boy! I'm just gonna use my hands anyways. I know I just said I shouldn't use my hands, but I don't know how to do it without hands. Because my hands make it easier to spread it out, you know? Sorry. It's fine. I'm just gonna wash my hands every time I have to make a section. Honestly, already a vibe. I actually love it. Okay, my head is covered in hair dye and I think, I think it's gonna look very cute at the end. I got high hopes for this hairstyle. So I'm just gonna let this sit for approximately 40 minutes and then I can show you the end result. Okay, see you later, Ella Gita. Hey, hello everybody. Um, Welcome to my new hair. Um, look how bright it is. Look how crazy, crazy bright. I, I can't really tell whether I like it or not. Cause it's just, I don't know if it actually picks up on camera, but if I'm like outside in the sun, oh my God, you can see my hair color from fucking Australia. Like that's how bright it is. And I don't know if I like it or not. I still like the gradient though. I do think that it's kind of like a cool vibe. But I don't know if I like... I wish the roots were more like toned down and I wish the ends were more torn down. Torn? Toned down. Like not as bright. More of like a... Like a mauve color would be nice. I don't know. Do I like this? I don't think I do. I don't think I like it. But I did find something, which is really funny. You know, you guys know I've had like almost every single hair color on this panel already. And I've also had like extensions before. And I went through my hair extension drawer. And I found these extensions. That perfectly match my hair color. I completely forgot I had these. And it is literally the exact same color. Isn't that, isn't that crazy? Cause I used a completely different dye for these than I did for these. So let me just, let me just put these in and then see if that's gonna make it better or worse. Cause it's gonna be even more bright. <gasps> Look, I have long hair, <laughs> but I still don't think I like it. Yeah, I know they're not blended very well. Just, just don't look at that, okay? Don't look at how they're blended. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know. I mean, I see the potential of this hair, but I I don't think it's quite there yet. So, I might end up dying it again this week. <laughs> Cuz it's just too bright, okay? It just makes me feel like super obnoxious. Okay, what do you think of my hair? Oh, thank you. Thank you for the kisses. Oh, you smell like fucking bird shit. Why are you always roll and poop? So <laughs> she just smudged my lipstick. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> Not me making out with my dog. Okay guys, let me know in the comments what you think of this hair. Should I change it or should I keep it? I mean, to be fair, the moment this video is up, I probably already dyed it a new color. But well, maybe not, maybe not. Maybe, maybe I'll change my mind in like five seconds. <laughs> so yeah, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you in my next video.